This is a quick introduction to how easy it can be to get started using the Teensy boards with the Arduino development environment. And the Teensy can have some very powerful processing and hardware capabilities, so it's definitely more advanced than a typical Arduino Uno. Over here on the main Teensy website, there's a tutorial that just goes through how to install the Teensy Duino for Arduino environment. And once it's set up, you'll have Teensy boards available in your Arduino environment tools menu. And then you should be able to use most Arduino sketches with the Teensy, changing maybe some pin numbers as needed. I have Teensy 3.6, so skipping over here to a pinout link. This is all the pins on top and bottom of the board. And this is a 3.3 volt board, so that has to be kept in mind. But here's where you can see these pin numbers. Now, you can't just count the pins themselves on the board when you're trying to figure out where to plug in for, say, pin 8. You don't start up here. You have ground, then you have zero, and then you can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So once you get used to it, you just look for what pins have what features. If you're using a sketch that uses I squared C, the default is up here on pins 18 and 19 for the serial clock and data. And that was detailed elsewhere on the Teensy pages. So you just have to look around and get things going, and there's lots of examples. And pin 32 on the bottom right over here doubles as analog pin 13, so I'm going to use this as a potentiometer input. And since I want to control the brightness of RGB LED pins, I'm using PWM pins 8, 9, and 10. So in the Teensy tutorial pages, they do tell you a little bit about getting started, and it's very basic, so you can skip what you don't need to know. And they're going to use one of these 4-pin RGB LEDs. Pin 2 is cathode for them, but I have one like this with 4 pins different lead lengths, but mine on pin 2 is a common anode. And then pins 1, 3, and 4 for me are red, green, blue. So depending which RGB LED you have, if you're going to use one of these, you have to double check the pins. And they show how to hook it up and a simple little sketch for controlling it. So this is the demo circuit I put together. I'm using my 4-pin RGB LED where I have pin 2 as a common anode and then red, green, blue. I've got 220 ohm series limiting resistors on each LED cathode and I'm using Teensy pins 8, 9, 10 for red, green, blue. So this being pin 8, looking again over here at how this is set up, First pin is ground, and then it's pin 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that's how I know to put pin 8 in my sketch for red. My potentiometer across 3.3 volts and ground. Analog 13 is in this bottom corner. And these serial clock and data pins for I squared C, I've got those going over to my OLED, and I'm powering it from 3.3 and ground. So with this sketch, I can just turn the potentiometer up and down, and I can fade between red and blue being alternately fully on or going more dim while the other goes fully on. And I'm using green just with a digital output to flash it off and on. So it's just for me to get used to how to use this in analog input reading, analog output PWM control, digital output on-off control, and I squared C for an OLED. So here's the sketch, and it's running, so I also wanted to make sure I can use the serial monitor, so I put text out here, and it's the same or close enough to the info on my OLED. So firstly, up in the Tools menu, I chose my board, Teensy 3.6, USB type is just serial, and I can use that as a serial debug, and the port is the Teensy 3.6 serial. So to make this Teensy sketch, really what I did is I used one of my previous Arduino Uno sketches to run the 1306 128 by 64 OLED. And I just wanted to see that I can port the code directly over and I did not have to modify it at all, including any pinouts for the I squared C, because the default I squared C pinouts that get transferred over to using Teensy 3.6 
happened to be these default i squared c right here. So I just used those. And then I just added in the extra things to control the LED and read the potentiometer. I'll link below to the other Arduino Uno sketch that I got this code from. So in addition to the OLED code, I set up my red, green, blue pins, and then the potentiometer is on analog 13. 13 will just get interpreted as analog 13 when I'm doing an analog read, and I'm storing in what I read of my potentiometer level, and I'm starting it at zero. For the LED brightness, I'm using PWM, which is a value from 0 to 255 to change the brightness. So since the analog reading on the potentiometer is going to be from 0 to 1023, I'll divide that by 4 to end up with an LED brightness between 0 and 255. And I have this LED counter that I'm using to flash the green LED digitally. So I initialize the pins, the LEDs are outputs, I initialize the OLED, then I just loop and read in the potentiometer, scale it down for PWM brightness, then I'll send that brightness out directly to the blue LED, and I'll take the opposite of that, I'll subtract it from 255 to get the opposite intensity for the red LED. So if blue is full brightness, red is going to be minimum brightness, and vice versa. If blue is somewhere in between, just say drifting slightly away from 255, red is going to be drifting slightly away up from zero, and so the brightnesses fade in and out oppositely. So after I set those brightnesses, I'll just report on the serial monitor as well as on the OLED what readings I have and what LED brightnesses I'm giving. Then to flash the green LED, I just have a counter that I start at zero and I increment, and with all of these things going on, the counting is so slow that I can simply count up to 32 and then start over at zero and then halfway up I can alternate whether the green LED is off or on and it'll blink at a rate that I can see. If I'm not doing so many tasks I guess this counter would go at lightning speed and I would need a higher number here but th these are the values that worked out in this sketch and of course I report on the debug monitor whether green is on or off. So it's a simple sketch just meant to show that this Arduino code works directly for Teensy. Over in the serial monitor, I'm showing my potentiometer setting and then my red, green, and blue. Blue is currently zero, and since I have a common anode, I need to give a zero to turn it on. So zero is actually full brightness on blue, and red is the opposite of this. Red is a complete high, which means with a common anode, the red is off. And down on the OLED, I'm just showing the potentiometer raw value, and then the blue and the red. So right now, when green flashes on, it disrupts the blue and mixes blue with green. Kind of hard to see as usual on a camera, but for now, let me just change the pot. So I'll turn the pot all the way up. So now I'm getting close to 1023, including on the serial monitor. Now the blue is completely on, so with a common anode it's actually completely off, and red is completely turned on. So now we go between fully red and then red mixed with green when green flashes on and off. So I can set the pot somewhere in between. Now the values are kind of close together, the pot's pretty much in the middle. So blue and red will be on at the same time, and then green will get mixed in with it. And that's pretty much it. So getting started with a Teensy using Teensy Duino in the Arduino environment is very straightforward. I don't know what all the limitations may be, but you can port over your Arduino code and maybe change a few pin numbers to suit the Teensy board. I was able to get this OLED display as well as an analog in and an analog and digital out, controlling LED brightness with PWM, turning them on and off digitally, reading an analog potentiometer input. All I really needed to do was change the board type in the Arduino environment to say Teensy, set up whatever specific pin numbers I'm using, and my old Arduino Uno projects so far are working just fine here. So I look forward to taking advantage of more of the Teensy specific hardware in the future.